What is VistaVision? Well, VistaVision is a technique for filming movies that was created by Paramount in the 1950s. At the time, Fox had just come out with CinemaScope, which created ultra widescreen images, instead of the traditional 4x3. Audiences immediately fell in love with these new widescreen movies, and VistaVision was Paramount's answer to this new demand. But what makes VistaVision different? Let's go ahead and take a look. Regular 35mm film is loaded into the camera vertically like this, creating a space approximately this size for the image to be captured. VistaVision took 35mm film and loaded it horizontally. This allowed for the image to be captured at a much larger space. The larger image resulted in less film grain and a sharper, clearer image. The VistaVision negative would then be used to edit the movie. Once it was finished, it would be printed on normal, vertical 35mm film for its release. This release print would still maintain much of the quality from the original VistaVision negative. Paramount attempted a few release prints with 35mm horizontal VistaVision. However, the film needed to move through the projector significantly faster, which led to many technical difficulties. Besides the higher quality of VistaVision, another thing that made it popular was its ability to be cropped to most of the common aspect ratios. It also didn't require theaters to spend any extra money, since most release prints were on standard vertical 35mm. CinemaScope, on the other hand, used an anamorphic process which gave it a fixed aspect ratio. It also required theaters to spend extra money on new anamorphic lenses for the projectors. The first movie to be filmed in VistaVision was White Christmas in 1954. Over 80 VistaVision films will be released over the next few years. However, with improvements in regular 35mm film capture, and the higher costs associated with VistaVision, it slowly became obsolete. The last major film to use VistaVision was the 1961 Marlon Brando film One-Eyed Jacks. With the exception of a few Japanese films, VistaVision was no longer being used to make movies. This changed however in the 1970s, when George Lucas began production on Star Wars. While most of Star Wars was shot anamorphic, several special effects shots were done using VistaVision cameras. Now this was because the higher quality of VistaVision made it easier to do the visual effects work. And this worked out so well that VistaVision cameras continued to be used for visual effects work until digital cameras took over around 2010. So what is VistaVision's legacy today? Well, one popular way to film videos is with digital SLR or mirrorless cameras. A lot of these cameras shoot video on a full frame sensor, which is standard for photography. Full frame in photography is essentially the same thing as VistaVision. It's 35mm film loaded horizontally. Today's full frame cameras simply use a digital sensor that's approximately the same size as VistaVision film. Another use of VistaVision today is with the digital cinema camera company RED. Their Monstro 8K sensor is modeled after VistaVision film. And the last way that VistaVision continues to influence filmmaking today is with IMAX. IMAX, just like VistaVision, is loaded into the camera horizontally. However, instead of 35mm film, it uses 65mm to create an even larger image. And that's the history of VistaVision. While VistaVision itself is no longer being used anymore, it still influences the way that videos and movies are being shot today, leading to beautiful, high quality images and a better cinematic experience. Thanks for watching.